சிந்தனை அவன் கண் விட குட் மார்னிங் டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் என்டிஏ அபியாஸ் நீட் டெஸ்ட் ஒன் டு ஃபார்ட்டி சாப்டர் வைஸ் அசைன்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ எம் டாக்டர் ரத்தீஷ்ரீ தி சீனியர் பாட்னி ஃபேக்கல்டி ஒஸ் ப்ரைரோ பிரைம் எஜுகேஷன் இன்ஸ்டியூட்ஸ் சென்னை நாமக்கல் ஸோ டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் தி டாபிக் மை குரூப்ஸ் இன் ஹியூமன் வெல்ஃபேர் அண்ட் பிளான் ரீடிங் ஸோ கம்பேர் comparatively these two lessons are going to be most memory based questions will come so you have to memorize a lot of things so okay let us enter into the question paper the bod is dear students bod is called as the biological oxygen demand you know when the organic content is added to a water or a sewage its polluting level is going to be high so it is the oxygen demand is going to occur because the more of microorganism are going to utilize this organic content and degrade it so that the oxygen is completely depleted in this particular sewage or it's going to be either the polluted water so what is the sewage that is the question here right so the sewage is directly proportional to the amount of organic waste yes this is the correct option it is directly proportional to the amount of dissolved oxygen no it is going to deplete the amount of oxygen right so it is in there in incorrect option so it is inversely proportional to the amount of dissolved oxygen yes this is the correct option because the bod is going to reduce the oxygen content so it is inversely proportional to the amount of dissolved oxygen so dear students for this question the correct option is going to be option a and c this is the correct option question number 2 the chemical released by penicillium nutatum is inhibited by inhibited the growth of which microbe so dear students for this we have to go to the discovery of penicillin by alexander fleming so alexander fleming who was working in his laboratory in staphylococcus aureus so at the time once he didn't wash his petri plates after one week he could see that he could see the clear of zone of clearance okay so zone of clearance will be like this this is the petri plate you can see the microorganisms staphylococci growing everywhere he could see the zone of clearance he could see no growth here so he was very much surprised so then he found out that it was the fungi penicillium mutatum they prevented the growth of this particular bacteria staphylococci so this is because these fungi produces a antibiotic called as a penicillin and this penicillin is going to inhibit the bacteria so it was a discovery by chance so dear students here the correct option is going to be the staphylococci question number 3 wine is prepared by the fermentation of grape juice by students you know the wine be or the fermented products that is the whiskey brandy are going to be the distillated products right so they go have the alcohol content high when compared to the top of the wine and the beer so the wine is prepared from the grape juice it is by the yeast the fermentation is by the yeast namely the saccharomyces cerevisiae so the correct option is option c so question number 4 the butyric acid is produced by you know the microorganisms are going to play a very important role in production of variety of organic acids so like citric acid or acetic acid okay so in the same way this butyric acid is going to be produced by the bacteria that is clostridium butylicum it is going to produce the butyric acid so these are all the memory based questions directly in ncert so you have to study all these things yes so the correct option is option c question number 5 which stage of cv treatment microbes are used you know the cv treatment include the primary secondary and tertiary treatment so this primary treatment where the sewage the floating debris are going to be filtered out so the filtration and the sedimentation comes under the primary process and the secondary treatment where you have the the effluent and the effluent is treated with the 
microorganisms which is going to form the flocks right and the tertiary you are going to if you are going to use the particular effluent for the domestic purpose you have to treat go for the tertiary treatment where you treat with ozone right so these are all the various treatment methods in this we are going to use the microbes the microbes are used in the secondary treatment we call this as a biological treatment right so the correct option is option b question number 6 the large holes in swiss tree uh, large for this healthy intense treatment the large holes in the swiss trees are due to the production of large amount of carbon dioxide yes it is correct you know swiss trees is formed by the action of the tropinum bacterium shermani so it is known for the texture the proteins and pectinase are used in the clarification of bottled juice yes it is correct because we often prefer the fruit juice it is going to be clear if it is going to have some um, things like fruit pulp you are not going to like it so this proteins and pectinases are used for clearing the but bottled juices so the correct option is option b is also correct the penicillin was discovered by flore dear student penicillin was discovered by alexander fleming right as a discovery of uh, serendipity so here the ernest chain and flore they made this ultimate use of this penicillin during the world war for the treatment of soldiers so this is the incorrect option and mycorrhizae fungi help in the absorption of nutrients yes so in this question they are asking about the incorrect statement the incorrect statement is option c question number 7 the microbial source of citric acid you know uh, i already i have discussed you the microbes are going to play a very important role in the production of various organic substances organic acids right bio molecules right so bioactive molecules so in this it is going to be the correct option is going to be the citric acid is going to be produced by aspergillus niger and acetobacteria acid is going to be involved in the formation of acetic acid and the butylicum is going to be involved in the formation of butyric acid and lactobacillus is going to be playing a very important role in the formation of curd right so the correct answer here is aspergillus niger it's going to produce the citric acid and also it is going to produce the glucuronic acid okay the correct option is option a question number 8 monascus purpureus is a yeast yes it is a fungus and used commercially in the production of dear students yeast is going to be playing a very important role right in the production of the blood cholesterol lowering agent so yeast is the eukaryotic organism right unicellular eukaryotic organism especially the monascus purpureus okay the monascus purpureus is going to produce a substance called as a statins and these statins are acting as a lowering the blood cholesterol um, reagents agents okay so the correct option here is going to be the option 4 that is blood cholesterol lowering statins so coming to the next question question number 9 which of the following is not obtained by the process of distillation you know the distillation process is carried out for increasing the alcohol content of the particular uh, fermented product so distillation is usually run in high alcoholic content products like fermented products like this brand okay uh, rum so here the question is which is not obtained by the distillation process usually the wine and the beer or the products directly fermented products they are not distilled so the correct option is option a question number 10 which of the following in the sewage treatment remove the suspended solids dear students just now i have explained about you the primary treatment the primary treatment where the um, the debris is going to be filtered out okay where the suspended solids are going to be filtered out this process is called as a filtration and sedimentation where certain substances are going to be sedimented here right so this is belong this comes under the primary the primary treatment of the sewage so the correct option here is the primary treatment option c is going to be correct moving to the question number 11 which of bacteria is utilized in the gobar gas plants so dear students you know um, the cat will feel the cotton is going to have the uh, high level of methanobacteria right so this cotton has been used in this rural areas so it has been it's going to be filled in the <clears throat> uh, pits okay where the large dome is going to be covered over this and with a pipe let outside 
So when it is going to be full like this, the anaerobic digestion, the anaerobic process is going to happen when the methanobacterium is going to um, uh, uh, involved in the production of anaerobic digestion is going to involved in the production of this methane gas, right? So when this methane gas is produced, it is going to cause this uh, dome to uh, lift, uh, lift upwards, right? So the methane gas is pro the methane gas produced here is going to be um, uh, uh, taken up for the domestic purpose via this outlet pipe, right? So this Gobar gas is nothing but the methane, methane gas production. And this is done with the help of the bacteria, methanogenic bacteria. So the correct option is option A. Question number 12. The purified antibiotic penicillin of penicillin notatum was discovered by. Dear student, I think so. We, have, we are coming across this question for the third time. So the correct option is Alexander Fleming. So these two scientists, they play a very important role. Okay. In treating of this uh, patients uh, that is a uh, world war uh, mm, soldiers okay with this um, uh, penicillin okay so all these three person got the nobel prize award but the discovery credit goes to alexander fleming question number 13 which of the following is not a So which of the following okay, is not a biofertilizer? Dear students, uh, here biofertilizer, is there anything that is going to increase the nutritive content of the soil? It is said to be a biofertilizer. Here the question is which of the following is not a biofertilizer? You know the uh, nitrogen fixing the biofertilizer mm, and also uh, what are the substances that are going to fix the nitrogen and also this um, uh, the mycorrhiza is going to increase the phosphorus and the phosphorus and mineral content of the soil it is also comes into the biofertilizer right so the character see here, here the rhizobium is a biofertilizer nostoc is again a blue green algae going to fix the nitrogen atmospheric nitrogen is also a biofertilizer and mycorrhiza is nothing but it is going to increase the phosphorus and mineral content of the soil right like blomus it also comes under the biofertilizer. So the correct option is going to be the agrobacterium tumor patients. It is not a biofertilizer. It is a, going to cause a um, crown curl disease in the plant. So it is the pathogen. So we are going to utilize this characteristic of this agrobacterium tumor patients where we are going to design this particular pathogen and we're going to use this for genetic engineering purposes. So here the agrobacterium does not come under the biofertilizer, right? It is a plant pathogen. So the correct option is going to be option A, that is agrobacterium. So question number 14, the trichoderma harsinia is used as a biocontrol agent against the various plant pathogen. Which of the following class of fungi does it belong to? You dear students, you should know the trichoderma is, uh, uh, is uh, going to uh, affect the various, it is going to prevent the growth of the various microorganisms. So it is the best one of the biocontrol agents okay uh, so this uh, is going to mostly prevent it is a group one um, pathogens are going to be majorly prevented by this type of uh, biocontrol agent that is the trichoderma you know trichoderma you would have studied in the biological classification lesson it comes under the imperfect fungi that is the deuteromycetes it belongs to the um, deuteromycetes group of fungi so the correct option is going to be option c toddy is the formed by fermentation of. See, toddy is a traditional South Indian drink. It is obtained from the palm tree. Actually, they are going to cut the, um, uh, the uh, palm tree. They are going to, uh, at the top, okay, they are going to have a light uh, um, cut and they will uh, keep the pot uh, um, tied over that particular part. And the, the sap is going to ooze out from that particular cut part, okay, and it's going to be collected in the a particular part. This is called as a um, tardy, which is nothing but the fermented sap of the palm tree. Okay, it's a traditional drink of South Indians. Okay, mm, in Tamil they will call it as a panankal. Okay, kalli. They will call it as kal. Mm, so this toddy is a very uh, famous uh, South Indian fermented uh, sap product of a uh, palm tree. So the correct option is going to be option A, the sap from the palms. So, dear students, question number 16, the monascus 
but furious is commercially used in the production now mm, i have clearly explained monascus for furious comes into the yeast it is an unicellular eukaryotic organism right it is an unicellular eukaryotic organism so the yeast is going to be involved in the production of statins okay so statins are going to act as a blood cholesterol lowering agent so dear students the correct option here is going to be the statins option c is correct Question number 17, which of the following is a non-symbiotic biofertilizer? You know, the, uh, the organisms that are going to fix the atmospheric nitrogen it is also considered as a biofertilizer. Here the question is, which is a non-symbiotic nitrogen fixer? Okay, there are nitrogen fixing organisms exist in two types. One is free living nitrogen fixers and another one is the symbiotic nitrogen fixers, right? So the free living nitrogen fixers comes under the non-symbiotic uh, nitrogen fixers. So here the mycorrhizae, it is not, um, uh, it is going to be a, a fungal and a plant root association, okay? Um, so uh, here it, uh, the, it is a irrelevant option to this particular question. Coming to, we will see this anabiana. Anabiana is going to have the symbiotic, it's okay, symbiotic relationship. In paddy fields, this anabiana is going to be symbiotically associated with the pond that is azola, right? Um, and it's going to help in the uh, nitrogen fix. Here, the rhizobium is again a symbiotic nitrogen fixer in the leguminous plant, right? So, these are all the symbiotic nitrogen fixers, whereas this acetobacter is a free living nitrogen fixer. So, here the question is the non symbiotic, so the non symbiotic character is going to be option two, it is the acetobacter. Question number 18. In Swiss cheese, large holes are formed due to the production of large amount of carbon dioxide by the bacteria. Cheese students, the cheese is well known for the flavor, the texture, and taste. So the various microorganisms contribute to the different thing. For example, in case of flavor, the most famous uh, cheese is going to be the Swiss cheese that is ripened by Tropini bacterium shermani, which is going to have the large holes because of production of carbon dioxide. The texture, mm, so, sorry, this is uh, the this Swiss cheese is very much favor, famous for this texture and the flavor. When we come for the flavor of this particular cheese, you know, the uh, penicillium uh, roqueforti, we, we call it as a roquefort cheese. So the roquefort cheese is very much famous for this flavor, okay? That is ripened by the penicillium roqueforti and camemberti cheese. It is going to be very much famous for its taste. So here the question is about the texture. They are asking the large amount of carbon dioxide is produced by the bacterium in the chair that is uh, responsible for the ripening in Swiss cheese. It's just nothing but the propini bacterium shermani. Dear students, the correct option here is option B. Question number 19. Aman, which of the following is not associated with the sewage treatment plants? So, you know, sewage treatment plants is going to treat the sewage water so that it can be used or it can be the sewage water can be redirected into the rivers so that the water, river water is less polluted, right? So, here, the terms that is associated with the sewage treatment plants are DOD and the formation of flocks and the activated sludge. But here, see this uh, treatment through the scrubber. So this is not coming under the sewage treatment plants, uh, treatment through the um, scrubber. This is irrelevant to this question. So it is not associated. So the correct option is going to be option D. Question number 20. The propylene bacterium sermani is used in the ripening of Swiss cheese. Option B is correct. We have already discussed this type of question for two to three times. Question number 21. Which of the following viruses is used for the purpose of organic farming? So dear students, the organic farming is uh, becoming famous nowadays. See, the normal um, uh, practice management practices, we use a lot of agrochemicals so as to increase the productivity. But these agrochemicals have some negative impacts towards the environment. So we go for the organic farming. So the organic farming reduces our dependency towards the chemical fertilizers so that the environment is going to be safe. Mm, so this organic farming um, is mostly, we use the agents called as a biocontrol agents instead of these fertilizers. So these biocontrol agents or the biofertilizers is normally used in organic farming. In case of biocontrol, we go for the trichoderma. And another important thing is going to be the baculoviruses. Baculoviruses are a group 
of nucleopani heteroviruses. We call this as NPV viruses. These are going to be the species specific insecticidal agents. So they are going to attack particularly some of the arthropods and they are not going to disturb any of the organisms in the ecosystem. So it is very, very important here. Mm, for in this lesson. So the Bacillus viruses are the very safest biocontrol agents. So here they are asking which is which of the viruses is used for this organic farming. Here, dear students, here mm, all other options, influenza, TMP, and retrovirus were the incorrect option, whereas the biocontrol agent, the Bacillus virus is the correct option here. Question number 22. Which of the following pair of organisms are used in antibiotic protection? So antibiotic production, this psychoderma here and monastis, they are used, they are used in production of bioactive molecules, not in the antibiotic production. Aspergillus niger and penicillin rotated. Yes, these comes into the aspergillus um, uh, niger and penicillium is going to be involved in the production of antibiotics. Lactobacillus and nuclear polyhedras are again, it is not an antibiotic production. So the correct option, dear students, here the baclovirus is again a biocontrol agent. The correct option is going to be option B. Question number 23, the nucleopolyhedroviruses cannot be used in the ecological sensitive areas. So it is incorrect, it can be used, it has a negative impact on the non-target organism. No, it is a species specific against certain arthropods. So it is an incorrect option. It is the main genus of baclovirus that are used as a biocontrol agent. Yes, this is the correct option. Yes, students, we have already discussed about the baclovirus. So it will be very useful for you. So the correct option is option C. Question number 24, when the huge amount of sewage is dumped into the river, it be holy. See, when in a river, if you are going to use, the, uh, you are going to dump the sewage. So what is going to happen? Dear students, the BOD is going to, um, uh, uh, when you dump large amount of this pollutant, the pollutant level is going to increase in the sewage. Definitely the BOD level is going to increase, right? The uh, BOD is a direct measure of this organic pollutant in the particular water body. So when you are going to add more sewage or more organic content, definitely the BOD will rise. So the correct option is option A, increase. Question number 25. The production on industry scale requires the growth, growing microbes in the very large vessels for this. Dear, uh, dear students, uh, if you want to go for the, uh, uh, that is a um, uh, production in the large scale amount of certain antibiotics or vitamins or certain bioactive molecules, we go for this large fermenters that is present in the large pharmaceutical companies. So in these companies, you will have a large fermenter vessel. It is going to hold up the thousands of gallons of these mm, uh, uh, that is uh, supplements. Okay, that is needed for the growth of these particular organism. So these organism taking up the nutrient from these um, uh, fermenter uh, 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 tank, they are going to multiply and they are going to produce their product excessively, right? Mm, so we are going to in the downstreaming process. So we are going to purify and we isolate the particular extracellular product from these fermenters. So this fermenter is going to have all the setup, okay? It is going to be in aseptic condition. It is going to have the pH regulator. It is going to have the temperature regulator because these microorganisms should be grown and replicated and uh, control the aseptic environmental conditions that is given in the fermenter. So, so the correct option for this question, the large vessels that is used is going to be the option A fermenter. Question number 26, the cyclosporine is used in, dear student, the cyclosporine is going to be produced by, uh, it is going to be produced by the uh, trichoderma, right? The trichoderma is going to produce the cyclosporine, which is used as an immunosuppressive uh, uh, agent, okay? You know, so when you go for the transplant patients, if the person has uh, undergone a kidney transplant, okay, um, they have to take this immunosuppressive agent uh, because their uh, body will produce uh, um, certain antibodies against the particular organ transplant. So in order to reduce that, we have to uh, uh, give them the immunosuppressive agent, okay? Mm, so the cyclosporin is again a bioactive molecule that is produced by the trichoderma. So the dear student, mm, the correct option is going to be option B, that is an uh, immunosuppressive agent.
So, <coughs> so next, going to the next question, dear students, it is question number 27. Match the microbes in the given column one with the major role played by them given in the column two. Okay, propyl bacterium, Sharman. I have clearly discussed you this. So, this comes for the production of Swiss cheese, right? So, option C is the correct code. The streptococcus, streptococcus is going to produce a streptokinase, which is going to act as a cross clot blaster. So, T, uh, D is the correct for this. And trichodermum polys. Derma polysporum. Just now in the last question we have discussed trichoderma polysporum is involved in the formation of uh, cyclosporum, which is nothing but the immunosuppressive agent. So A is the correct answer. And rhizobium is a nitrogen fixer in the soil. And dear student, the correct option is going to be option B, right? Yes. Question number 28. Which Given, given below are the steps involved in the three-way treatment that you them in the proper sequence. So, already I have explained you. So you see, the first is the mechanical. It is the filtration, the sedimentation, the mechanical removal of this particular mm, suspended solid. So, first one is going to be the C, okay? The second one. Uh, second one is going to be the passage of this primary effluent in the large aeration tanks because this is the secondary treatment where you are going for this um, biological treatment right with the, uh, with the aerobic organism and the third one is um, we are going to uh, the growth of organism especially after transferring into the aeration tank these grow into flocks right this is going to be the third uh, um, statement and the fourth one is going to be the Mm, after these flocks, the activated sludge is going to be in the, mm, yes, activated sludge is going to be formed. Yes, this is going to be the mm, fourth one and fifth one is going to be release of this effluent into the nature. Yes, the correct option is going to be in the order of C, A, then E, then B and D. So the correct option is going to be option C. So question number 29, the microbe is also known as the previous yeast. Yes. So you know the yeast is going to be involved in the production of beer, beer making, wine making and also the product making, right? So it's just called as a previous yeast. It is nothing but the Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is a eukaryotic fungi. So option two is correct. Question number 30, select the correct pairing. Aspergillus niger, I think so this is acetic acid. So this is the incorrect option because citric acid is the correct option. Monascus purpurius is involved in the production of statin. So this is correct. Streptococcus is involved in the production of streptokinase, not the cyclosporin A. Methanogens are involved in the production of methane gas. So the correct option is option A, yes, to, or option B. So it is the correct option is option B. Which of the following options shows a pair of antagonistic phytohormone with respect to the given feature? See, the Parthenocarpid oxygen is having this particular part, uh, property. It is antagonistic to gibberellin. No, gibberellin is not having this property. Obsession, ethylene is antagonistic to abscisic acid. Sorry, mm, so uh, ethylene is going to act as both the promoter and also an inhibitor. Ethylene is not an mm, antagonistic in this particular characteristic to abscisic acid. So this is also incorrect option. Seed germination. Gibberellin is antagonistic to abscisic acid. Dear students, um, here uh, you should make a, a point that the uh, gibberellin is going to be having the antagonistic activity against abscisic acid in many of the characteristics and seed germination is one of them, right? And also the gibberellin is going to uh, induce the flowering in the long tree plants but abscisic acid is going to inhibit that. And seed germination is going to be induced by this gibberellin and is going to be inhibited by the abscisic acid. So the correct antagonist activity is option C. Okay. Question number 32. Which of the following organism is associated with the production of blood cholesterol lowering agent? Already we have explained a lot about this. It is going to be the yeast known as Caspurius. Question number 33, the citric acid is industrially best produced by. So the citric acid already we have explained it is produced by the fungi, which is the Aspergillus niger. It belongs to the Ascomycetes group. So the correct option is going to be option B. 
the microbe associated with the root nodule formation see the root nodule is the place where the atmospheric nitrogen is going to be fixed up by certain bacteria with the help of enzyme nitrogenase so that these atmospheric nitrogen is made available to the plants right the plant cannot straight away use the atmospheric nitrogen so this is called as the biological nitrogen fixation where the atmospheric nitrogen is converted into the usable form that is ammonia by the plants by certain um, bacteria so here the neutron root nodule forming microbium is going to be the rhizobium which is going to be fixed in the aortic nitrogen fixation with certain um, legume plants right so the correct option is going to be option two because acetobacter is, a, um, uh, is a going to be in uh, fixed atmospheric nitrogen in the free living form here the question is root nodule formation which is formed by the rhizobium Question number 35, select the correct option for the blanks A and B and complete the following sentence. A and B are the alcoholic beverages obtained without distillation. Dear students, I have uh, discussed you about the distillated uh, fermented product and non-distillated fermented product. You know, non-distillated fermented product usually have the lower level of alcohol. I explained to you this, the whiskey and rum is going to be the uh, distillated product. The whiskey is again coming here and rum is coming here. So these are all the distillated products having the high alcohol content, right? So here the correct option is going to be the beer, beer and wine. They are going to be the directly fermented product. They are not distilled. Question number 36, a common biocontrol agent for the control of plant diseases. So the plant biocontrol agents are normally used in the bio. Mm, that is a uh, organic farming. So here the normal common bio uh, control agents here. What is for the plant disease that could control the plant diseases, right? Mm, so here um, the trichoderma is the correct answer because the trichoderma uh, it is going to prevent the growth of majority of plant pathogens and it is going to protect that particular plant from the plant diseases. So the correct option is trichoderma. Match the following list of microbes and their importance. The lactobacillus. Lactobacillus is involved in the conversion of milk to curd. So three is correct. And next, Monascus purpureus. It is involved uh, in the formation of the statins. So four is correct. So I think so. Mm, yeah. Streptococcus is involved in the production of uh, streptokinase, the clot buster, and uh, D aspergillus nigris citric acid. Dear students, the correct option is going to be option D. I think we are coming across the same type of question again and again. The genus polyhydroviruses are effective against disease causing pathogens. It is a species specific narrow insecticidal agent, right? It is effective against rodents. So it is effective against certain insects, arthropods, not rodents, broad spectrum insecticides. And effective against the insect and the other forms. The correct option is option D, dear students. Question number 39. The best candidate for species specific narrow spectrum insecticidal application is just now you have studied about this NPV last question also, which is nothing but the baculoviruses. So the correct option is option A. Complete the following sentence by filling in blanks A and B. A produced by yeast, B is used as a blood cholesterol lowering agent. I think so, what they are meaning? It is option B, statins and monascus purpureus. I think so, we have come across the same type of question almost for five to six times. So there is no much explanation needed. Name the black species A and B. A, B, C and D from the table given below. See bacterium A. So bacterium A lactic acid. So definitely it should be lactobacillus. So the A should be lactobacillus. It is given correct here. Fungus B cyclosporine. So what is the fungus involved in formation of cyclosporine A? It is going to be um, trichoderma cyclosporum, right? So here, but the option B is given as cyclosporum. So the correct option for this is going to be trichoderma polysporum. So what they have given instead of trichoderma polysporum, they have given a cyclosporum polysporum. So this is the incorrect here. And C, fungus, monascus purpurius statin. Yes, it is the yeast. It is correctly given here. 
and fourth is fungus penicillium notatum so it is going to give the antibiotic penicillin so it is given all the three options are correct except the third op uh, second option because it should be trichoderma polysporum not cyclosporum polysporum so option b is the incorrect one here A sugary solution is changed into a vinegar by the action of dear students. We you know that acetobacter acidity uh, is going to be involved in the conversion of this and the production of this citric acid or the production of this vinegar. So the correct answer is going to be option B. It is second option correct. So coming to the question number 43. A secondary sewage treatment mainly consists of you know the sea treatment consists of the primary treatment secondary treatment and tertiary treatment right so the secondary treatment mainly involves the microbial organism which is the flocks is going to be uh, formed in the aerobic tanks uh, right so the correct option is here is going to be there the option d the biological process question number 44 the steroid tank bioreactors have been here designed for. You see that the steroid tank bioreactors will have the propellant way like this. So they continuously going to mix the contents of this fermentation tank. The mixing or this, uh, uh, the when this propeller is going to rotate fast. Okay, it is going to help in even mixing and also help in supplying of this oxygen because this sparse tank bioreactors where the oxygen is going, the air is going to be pumped in upwards. It's going to be involved in the production of this oxygen. Oxygen. That is the R is going to be easily available, right? So the correct option here is purification of the product, you know, ensuring the anaerobic condition. You know, it produces the anaerobic condition, availability of oxygen throughout this process. Yes, the stutter tank bioreactors, it's in availability of oxygen throughout the process. The correct option is option D. The Swiss cheese is ripened by. Already we have explained many times the correct option is option A. Which organism is used as the biocontrol agent for several plant pathogens? We have seen this question above, right? So the answer is going to be the trichoderma. The variety effective, a variety effective against the shoot and fruit grower. Dear student, this question comes under the lesson, right? Strategies. Okay. In this lesson, I want you to have just a quick read of what all this okay so in the normal conventional hybridization right in normal conventional hybridization we have this um, uh, disease uh, resistance okay very effective against the pest resistant plants we are going to get the, when we are going to get the disease resistant plants right so this is particularly about the pest resistant plants that is produced by the conventional plant breeding so here Mm, you know uh, the flat beans, right? Flat beans. The resistant variety are called as Pusa Sim. Pusa Sim, they are going to be effective against the jacids and the fits. And similarly, way, the second plant. So it is said to be the Okra Bindi. Okay. The disease resistant variety is called as a Pusa Savani. It is called as Pusa Savani. Okay. So it is effective against the shoot of the fruit borer. So the question is the variety that is again uh, active against the shoot and fruit borer is nothing but the Bindi or the Okra. It is the variety is called as Pusa Savani. The correct answer is option B. 48. Which of the following variety is resistant to the white rust? So, dear student, this is again the disease resistant crops that is produced by the conventional method, right? So, here there are variety of plants like wheat, we call the himgri, where it is effective against the leaf rust, leaf stripe rust, okay? And brassica variety, we call that resistant variety as a pusa swarning, also current dry, which is very, which is um, resistant against the white rust, right? So the correct option here is going to be the current dry or pusa swarning, that is the brassica variety that is resistant to the white rust. So the correct option is option D. Which among the following is a pair of high yielding crop varieties resistant to the water stress developed in India? So to the water stress, we call it as the millet, right? 
So here the correct option is Jowar and Mace. Option B is correct. The Ministry of Environment and Forest have initiated the which plan to save the major rivers of the country? Dear students, the two plans that has been uh, executed by our government is Ganga Action Plan and Emuna Action Plan to protect the major rivers of our country. So the correct option is option B, A and, A and B. Question number 51. The SOMO clonal variation occurs in, dear student, SOMO clones are the are uh, uh, genetically identical plants that is going to be produced via the plant tissue culture. So these uh, plants that are produced via this microcode propagation is going to be similar to the exact replica of their parent, okay? So these are called as SOMO clones. But accidentally, in this process of micropropagation also, we are going to get certain mutations and we are going to get the variants among these SOMO clones. These are called as SOMO clonal variations. So these type of variants we, we are going to get via the plant tissue culture. So the correct option is going to be option C, plant tissue culture. So question number 52, dear students, which of the following variety is resistant against the hill bunt? Okay, so Already I have explained you about the disease resistant varieties that is produced by the conventional breeding. About chili, we have this resistant variety called as Pusa Sadaboha. And for cauliflower, it is Pusa Shubra. And for um, um, Brassica, it is Pusa Swarnim. And for wheat, we call it as the resistant variety as the Himgiri, which is also resistant towards the leaf stripe rust and it also the hill bunt, right? So here the correct option is going to be option A. If the protoplast of tomato is fused with potato protoplast and growth as a new plant, it will be known as. So the dear students, when the mm, potato and the tomato is going to be crossed, the protoplast fusion, we are going to get tomato. So this tomato is not economically such a successful pro product, right? Mm, so this is nothing but the somatic hybrid, okay? So the correct option here is option D, somatic hybrid. Question number 54 marks the incorrect statement. The insect and pest manifestation is one of the major causes for the large scale destruction of crop plants. Yes. Breeding method for insect pest resistance involves a special steps that are not similar to the other agronomical data. Dear student, here note this point that are not similar. Okay. So the breeding method for insect pest resistance is similar to as that of the normal process okay we are going to go for the um, uh, selection and then uh, cross uh, crossing selection of the parents and then uh, going for the crossing of the selected greens and then going for the selection of the recombinants okay then um, going for the release of this particular thing so the character this is uh, incorrect it is the steps are not going to be not similar it is a similar steps and like other hybridizational techniques so the incorrect option is option B. The callus can form the plant by altering the concentration of. Dear students, in the plant tissue culture, you are going to grow a particular plant, okay? Why are this propagation process? Whereas the particular, uh, we are going, you can also induce a root induction or also the shoot induction. Mm, this process is called as tissue morphogenesis. This can be done by the two phytohormones, one is called as the auxin and another one is called as the cytokine. So if the particular auxin ratio is high when compared to that of the cytin, it is going to cause the root induction. And when the cytokine level is going to be high when compared to that of the auxin, it is going to cause the shoot induction. So these two hormones play a very important role in forming the uh, shoot or a root. And when these concentration are going to be the same, we are going to induce the callus, right? So here the correct option is going to be the phytohormones, auxins and cytokinins. Question number 56. Which of the following is correct with respect to the bio 45 fold? They are asking for the correct option. Wheat variety at least 66 have the lysine and tryptophan content. So the wheat variety have the high protein content, dear students. So this is the incorrect option. Vitamin C in Pistica, Probita, Gard, Bathua, Mustard and Tomato. Yes, this is correct. One vitamin A enriched carrot, spinach, and garden peas. No, this is protein enriched. 
iron and calcium enriched protein no it is the protein enriched so dear student these are all the memory based question you have to read the ncrt thoroughly so the correct option for this question is option b match the column one and two wheat yes wheat is going to be sonalika the um dwarf wheat variety developed in india is called as a sonalika and cauliflower it is fuchsia sabra we have just now seen about the disease resistant varieties okay so for cauliflower we call it as fuchsia sabra or fuchsia snowball so for brassica fuchsia gaura right so brassica variety uh, so sorry for brassica And for chili, it is going to be fuchsia sadabahar. Yes, fuchsia sadabahar. So, dear students, yes, fuchsia gaur. So, the the uh, the correct option is going to be for A. It is four. And for B, it is going to be one. So, the correct option is going to be B one. And for C, two. And Yes, the correct option is dear students option C. I have uh, explained you here. The new varieties of plants are produced by. So, dear students, the new varieties of plants are introduced across the agricultural belts of India by the process of selection and hybridization. You know there are the five important steps, right? Mm, first is germplasm collection, and next is the selection of parents. Okay, next is the uh, crossing, and uh, next is the selection of the recombinants. That is for the heterosis, right? Then next one is the raising. So the correct option here is option A. Polyethylene glycol is a method used for dear students. The polyethylene glycol we call it as a fusing agent. So this fusing agent is going to fuse the two different protoplasts. The protoplasts are going to be fused so as to form the somatic hybrid, right? So here the polyethylene glycol method is used for gene transfer. Yes, it is going to transfer these genes into this protoplast. So this we call it as a somatic hybridization. So this uh, this gene transfer method. Method of fusating agent, okay. It is one of the chemical method of gene transferring without a vector, okay. With there are variety of methods, okay. That is, uh, we use a, a direct method of gene transfer like biolistic method and microinjection. That this polyethylene glycol is used as a fusating agent in the somatic hybrid production, and also it is the chemical fusating agent where the um, the two cells are going to be fused okay and the gene is going to be transferred we use this as a um, chemical fusion gene in the um, um, genetic engineering process for the gene transfer okay so this is the correct answer option a is the correct answer which of the following is the correct match between the crop variety and resistant to the disease so wheat hemorrhage is not a white breast hill bent or leaf stripe rest, brassica, pusa, sadabahar. It causes the white rest, dear students. It is not the black rot, so it is incorrect. Copy pusa, comal, and bacterial blight. It is the correct option. Prop I think so. Something is missing here. So the question is about the correct match. I think so. I could not see this clearly. So with the three options given here, the option C is going to be correct. Most thoroughly study known bacteria plant interaction. Yes. So plant stimulation by phosphate solubilizing bacteria, cyanobial symbiosis with some aquatic cones, gall formation. Yes. Agrobacterium tumefaction. Agrobacterium is a gram negative soil borne pathogen. It is going to infect the root of certain plants and enter into the plant and cause the tumor disease, which is said to be the crown gall disease. Right? So, it is the most studied 
plant interaction, dear students. That's why we use it in the genetic engineering process. Okay, we call this as the natural bioengineer. So the correct option is option C. As far as the blubbering behavior of a plant is concerned, Neela Kurunji and Bambusa. So here, Neela Kurunji and Bambusa are perennial monocarpic. Plants, okay, so they are going to have this juvenile period or the vegetative period variation for the longer years, and they are going to flower only once in their lifetime and they are going to die after that. So that's why we call this as a monocarpic plants. So they do not come along with so this is the annual plant they are going to flower, uh, flower only once. Henbane, radish and carrot, biennial plant, no. So this is, this is going to be the correct option because they are asking do not come along with because mango and apple are perennial polycarpic. So whereas these two plants are monocarpic. So the correct option is option D. In 1997, the company that got the patent rights for Basmati rice. So, dear students, Basmati rice is our native, our own uh, patented rice. Whereas mm, in US, uh, they uh, cross the two varieties of the rice and they claim the patent for this Basmati rice. Later, it was broken down. The patent was broken down. So, this patent rights were caught up by the Mm, the US Patent and Trademark Office. Okay, so this is a direct NCRT, and you can study this in the NCRT. The group of cell initials for tissue culturing is called as see mm, <clears throat> you when you go for tissue culturing, the particular part of the plant, either maybe the shoot tip or root tip that can be grown into a whole plant. Okay, mm, so the uh, the particular cell okay, is going to develop into your whole plant in the PTC, right? So uh, the particular uh, part that is used as inoculum, we call that as uh, the explant. So the correct option is explant. Okay, it may be either a shoot tip or a root tip from which the whole plant is regenerated. 65, which one of the following variety of the plant is effective against aphids? Dear students, already we have seen this. So this comes under the pest resistant variety. Okay, so here the flat beans that we call the resistant variety as Pusa, Sem, 2 and 3, okay. These are resistant against the jacids and the fits and to borer, right? So here the correct option is going to be the uh, that is pusa. Um, so the correct option. So this comes for the flat beans, okay? And same way for brassica. So the brassica variety we call it as pusa gauro. We have seen this, right? So Pusa Gaurav is the resistant variety of Brassica against aphids. So this is Pusa Sem2 and Pusa Sem3. It is the flat bean resistant variety against aphids. So the question here is about the which of the following variety of a plant is effective against aphids. So dear student, the correct option here is Pusa Gaurav because the Pusa SM2 and Pusa SM3 is not given. So it is the Brassica variety the, that is the Pusa Gaurav that is resistant against acid. So the correct option is option C. Micropropagation is Dear student, a method of producing a thousands of plants to the tissue culture. Yes, this is the correct option. So immediately the first one is the correct option. <clears throat> See the formation of altered resources of protein. No, the classical breeding crops with the higher levels of no large scale culture. See the micro propagation. We use the either the shoot tip, root tip, or the part of the leaf. Okay, we use um, and we are going to grow the particular plant. Let in thousand okay, thousands of plant leaves are produced in the test tube. We call this process as micro propagation in plant tissue culture. Okay, so the correct option is going to be the option B.
the pure line breed refers to you see the pure line breeding is obtained by continuous self uh, pollination of cell continuous self hybridization so this result in the homozygosity of genes okay so that the characters are not going to get separated your students okay so the correct option is you know, pure line breeding means the homozygosity <coughs> So genes should not self or sort, then they will get separated. So the correct option is option C, homozygosity only. Himgiri is the variety of, so we have seen many times about Himgiri. It is a beet variety, okay, resistant variety against the leaf stripe rust and hill bulb. So the correct option is option D. Question number 69. Select the incorrect match. So I think so. Already we have seen a lot of things about this. See here the brassica. Brassica here it is given black raw. Right? Brassica is going to cause the white rust, right? So it's white rust. You can get it here. So this is correct. Use a comb and, and chilling. Yes, tobacco mosaic virus. Yes, chili mosaic virus. So, incorrect option here is option B, dear students. So, please study all these in NCRT thoroughly and memorize it. Question number 70 A variety of brassica have the resistant to white red disease developed by the hybridization and selection. So, the same thing, it is nothing but what it is. The correct option is going to be, dear student, it is Pusa, Swarnin, or Karan Rai. In Goa plant, I think so. It is irrelevant to the topic, it is morphology. Parbani Kranti is a new variety of Abelmoscus esculentus, having the disease resistant varieties to yellow musa disease. So the correct option is option C yellow musa disease. The variety of copy resistant to bacterial blight. Dear students, the cowpea resistant variety is called as the Pusa common that is resistant to the bacterial right? So it is the correct option D. We have already discussed this. During hybridization of spring with the hybrid became superior to both the parents who so self-pollinated for few successive generations to get the homozygosity. Because when we have the homozygosity, the characters are not going to segregate, right? So we do the self-pollination for getting the homozygosity. So the correct option is option C. Which is true about the Bt toxin? Toxin exists as an inactive toxin. No, it exists as a, in a uh, it is exists as an active toxin. No, it is a for inactive protoxin. Activated toxin enters the ovaries of the test. No, it enters midgut. Concept bacillus has antitoxin. No. The inactive protoxin get converted into an active form in the insect gut. Yes, this is the correct option, dear students. So, dear student, coming to the end of this question paper discussion session. So, in this lesson, you would have seen that most of the questions are directly from NCRT. And these lessons are memory-based Mm, questions are most important. So, read NCRT thoroughly regarding these two lessons, okay? So, dear students, coming to the end of this a wonderful, uh, interesting session of question paper discussion by NTNE Abhyas. So, I am Dr. Ratishri, the Senior Botany Faculty of Spiro Educational Institutions. So, please subscribe this channel, Spiro Academy. And if you want this question paper, please click the link below in the given description. So thank you once again.